Hello students, this is Shorosa's classes and in this video I will be talking about the new patterns of actuarial science examination 2018 published by the Institute of Actuaries India according to the curriculum of 2018 forward. Okay, so the announcement has been done on very recently that is uh, 21st of January 2018. Okay, and I'm doing this video on 27th. So with respect to current time, it's actually recent. It depends when you are seeing it. Okay, so now what are the changes and what is the new structure? Previously there was the level of CD1, CD2, dot dot of CD9 and CA series, okay, SAST in that way we used to do the examination. But now they are going to do it in a different way. Here there will be some new terms are coming that is CS. So uh, this thing will be core statistics. Okay, second thing will be CA. So this is core. Okay, if you are guessing it's mathematics, no, it's actually modeling. Okay, so it's core modeling is coming, and there is a CB which is core business. Core business. Okay, so what will be the new curriculum and structure? So according to the current curriculum, the CT3 was probability and mathematical statistics is going to become CS1 or core statistics 1. CD4 and CD6, which was a little bit of advanced statistics, that is becoming these two part is becoming CS2. Okay, so now this part is actually becoming CS2. Now, if you focus in this area, the CS2 part. Now the CS2 consists of actually two papers, which is CD4 and CD, sorry, this is CD6 actually, CD4 and CD6. Okay, now coming back to uh, another part here. Now, here in the second part, CD1, which was... Now, CD1, this thing is added with another CD paper that is CD5 and this is coming to as CM1. Okay, so CD1 and CM, CD5 is becoming CM1 or the core modeling 1 and CT8 is directly transforming into CM2, core modeling 2. So now what happens to the other papers like CD2? This CD2 paper is transforming as CB1 or core business 1 and uh, CD7 is directly which was a statistics paper most of you heard of it it's the easiest paper to be considered it's actually becoming CB2 and CT9 which based on an online examination is becoming CB3 so that's it this is the basic structural format based changes which you, you are going to face now What's happening actually in, uh, if I go a deep uh, explanation to this, for example, in uh, the CS1 and plus CS2, so these two modules mainly based on statistics and relatively advanced level of statistics to be very specific, advanced statistics will be there, okay. And if we uh, just take this way, Previously, if we take a round of a graph, okay, or reverse graph. So previously, mass in the CT level area was higher, but now it's actually changing into a different axis pattern, and uh, they are going to give you like this. Okay, so you may feel a downward sloping curve into the actuarial area. Okay. So things are becoming tougher, although this year passing students is only 1,200 plus, around 5,300 plus students. Okay, so not many students, only 1,200 people will be giving these three all over India and along with the past students who have given it in the previous years like 2018, 2017 and 2016 and backward. Okay. So now the subjects covered in the actuarial model CS1 covers content previously in the CT3. So actually there is not many changes. There is uh, not many changes in 
the syllabus. So syllabus is always the same. There will be a little bit changes in the marking pattern that we will be doing in our next video. And one important thing about the CM part also in the modeling. So while the applying, they will now not ask you which are the papers you have done. They will ask you if you want to do it for an actuarial farm, either CS for the actuarial farm or analytics based, analytics based farms or structural farms. When it comes to CB, core business farms, so this is simply the banking sector or simply the insurance based farms will be helping you. And next is the core modeling here, the policy making farms or the structural farms will be helping you. Okay, so mostly as a policy maker, you will be going. So with respect to toughness, we can go like this, this as one, this as two, and this as Okay, now coming for some more important segments in our video here. So the core practice after this, so there is another part is called core practice, core practice. So what is core practice? So in the core practice stage, which is covering the subjects earlier covered as core application. So core practice is a transformation from C a okay so core advanced and core practice will have three main models again so this is again cp1 cp2 and as you guess it is cp3 okay and all of these models need to be passed to be able to qualify to be an associate and then a fellow so after this you cover this you go to become an associate okay and then you become the prestigious fellow. Okay, so let's go to the next part now. Okay, next, uh, what is going to happen in this area? What is going to happen in the these three? Okay, let me uh, please allow me to change the color. So here in CP one, in the CP one or the core practice one, is the module which covers the content of actually. CA1 okay and it will be examined by two paper based exams so here two paper based exams will be there and the first containing questions requiring uh, actually this uh, part one and part two so this actually needs the short ML based question short questions will be there and uh, second containing longer types okay this will contain longer types so this is very very important okay now in the second part if we go the first paper is actually uh, will be a normally a three hour paper which we used to do and the second paper will have an extended planning time of 45 minutes and an exam writing time of two hours and 30 minutes so 45 minutes of now this is only 45 minutes from planning time yeah you are becoming a core planner so a lot of time is needed so planning time is this time they will give you the question paper and after that two four and three zero hours will be given to you in order to answer the questions okay because in the planning time you actually get three hours or 15 minutes there's so a 15 minutes extra compared to the first part but two hours 30 minutes only in the writing segment okay so it defines a uh, triangle rule, I always say in the class. So it always says whether you are actually the upper part of the triangle or the down part. Okay. You're always a part of the system. Okay. Next important thing is what is going to happen in CP2. So in CP2, main idea of CP2 will be contained currently in CA2 okay and there is additional material to be added around the data analysis and we know that from 2018 January they have started giving marks to ACET students so these marks will also be yes this will also be published now okay and CP3 as you can guess will be just as CA3 paper 
and with uh, non actuarial and uh, a communication to the non actual audience and justify why you choose a particular method this kind of structure will also be done so model will be examined by three hour computer based exam so this one will be computer based anyway okay now uh, there are specialist principles so in specialist principles sp specialist principle is there so here you will be doing some paper that is sp1 sp2 sp4 sp5 sp6 7 8 and 9 okay so now yeah 3 is intentionally i have not written uh, because this thing has not been given by the shoot yet. So SP1 is actually health and care. And this is life insurance. SP4 will be pensions. This actually covers the content of the actually from ST4. And this is ST1. This will be from ST2. And this is investment and finance. This SP6 part will be considering financial derivatives. This will be financial derivative of ST6 and this will be of ST5. Now coming to the lower segments 7, 8, ST, SP7, SP8 and SP9. Okay, so what's happening here? So here in these three SP7 will be dealing with general insurance. SP8 will be dealing with again general insurance, but this is for reserving. This one is for reserving. And this one will be for pricing. Getting the difference? And last one and the least one is enterprise risk management enterprise so this is the kind of structure we need to keep on considering and uh, I will be telling you about the new changes in the ASET part also if you have any queries you can visit our site www.showsourceclasses And we have our complete study material also, so which will help you to crack all these. These are all updated new versions. You can WhatsApp to this number as well. Okay, any kind of queries or any kind of structure, we are there to help you. Okay, thanks for watching this video. We'll get back to you soon. Thank you.